If you've been around the internet very long, especially the YouTubes, you know that the world was supposed to have ended a million times just this year alone. If you follow the preparedness channels, they will have you constantly spun up about one thing or another, whether it be a train derailment, a plane crash, or the latest virus information being given to them by an inside source. Look, there is issues that we're all facing, but not many people are really being realistic about the true threats. So, I want to focus on that just for a moment. I want to use our power grid as an example. Now, power is something I've thought about ever since I was a kid. It just it was a, a pet project that I had kind of picked up and basically I wanted to uh, come up with a way to stick it to the power companies. And um, and I've had that attitude since that I can recall junior high. I've often questioned why we don't use obvious forms of energy that's right there for the taking. And I get it, you know, that every effect has an equal and opposite effect. And, and I, I get that. Um, but I've often wondered why we don't have huge power generation stations set up around, oh, Yellowstone to where we're, we're extracting that heat energy out of the ground, using it to create electrical energy, and then piping it throughout the nation. Of course, to do something like that, you would have to have an unbelievably stout infrastructure, especially if a lot of your power generation was centralized like that. But therein lies the problem. Our power grid, along with much else of the infrastructure, whether it be bridges, whether it be just the roadways themselves, has completely fallen in disrepair and there is no effort to fix it. When's the last time you've seen any major power lines getting updated and upgraded? It just doesn't happen. So what I think is probably the most looming threat for the average everyday American citizen and you're not going to have the fairy faggots I call them fairy faggots all the prepper channels on YouTube that have you spun up emotionally every single day they're putting out content trying to get you spun up they're fairy faggots fairy faggots the whole lot of them the prepared homestead full spectrum survival Canadian prepper fairy faggots every last one of them fairy faggots make sure they know Make sure they know. Look, if you get that spun up because the mouse farts, you're a weak little fairy faggot. And I don't know what to tell you. Hey, the gloves are gone. They're gone. Right? I, I'm no longer here under a, under a specific mission from the Father. So anything from here on out is me. And you thought I was bad before? Oh, <laughs> you're going to hate me. You're going to hate me. Because I don't have a filter. And I have no use for a bunch of emotional, emotionally charged fairy faggots on YouTube. That's what it is. Maybe they shouldn't be fairy faggots. But more back to the content itself. You're going to see... A major bailout and when I say bailout I'm not talking about the normal bailout that people are used to hearing about lately banker bailout student loan bailouts now talking about you know um, medical bill bailouts which never should have been a thing to begin with but that's a different topic for a different time you can't have a strong nation if you have a sick nation and you can't have a healthy nation when you allow corporations to make your your people sick so that they can profit from that it's it's all a, it's a circle it's it's not good and the people that want to go against any idea of relief for individuals that are like the other fairy faggot pinball preparedness that's a big fairy faggot and i mean a big fairy faggot you know, what we need to be concerned with isn't those types of bailouts. 
we need to be concerned with the individuals that are currently in charge of these different industries like the electrical industry the energy industry that when them systems when they fail fail when they break in a way that it's not going to be cheap and easy to fix they're gonna run they're gonna run fast and hard you won't see hide nor hair of them that's the kind of bailout I'm talking about I'm talking about people actually bailing out and you're gonna see it in all kinds of industry and many different things that you probably take for granted each day the energy industry is just one of them I mentioned others earlier and there will be more that is the most realistic threat that we face as Americans not the Russians coming invading not H5N1 not the next train derailment you know all the things that the fairy faggots get you spun up about but they're not so much talking about people just dusting their hands off and walking away from things that we need to survive look folks there's a lot of people right now and I hate to be beating this drum but there are truly a lot of people in high quote unquote high places that are getting ready they're getting ready to bail themselves out heads up folks everybody's got these Mad Max ideals on how everything is gonna go down and I think people with that mindset are disenfranchising themselves and everyone around them and they won't realize it until it's too late why are so many people doing this largely the fairy faggots on YouTube they get their prepper advice from Holly weird I don't know I don't know I have again don't count on anything from this channel because part of me can't wait to get as far away as I can a bailout bailing out bailing out of YouTube why I don't like being around fairy faggots Shalom